It was uncomfortable. It's probably the most uncomfortable time I've ever had in my whole entire life was trying to pretend to be somebody I wasn't. My name is Tyler Lum. I'm a transgender man. I have lived experience with anxiety due to a diagnosis of PTSD. When I was about five years old, I realized that I wasn't really in the right body. I didn't feel like I really belonged anywhere. I didn't belong with the girls. I didn't belong with the boys. So I spent a lot of time with my dad. The reason I spent time with my dad is because he always encouraged me to be exactly who I wanted to be. And my dad passed away when I was eight years old, unfortunately. And that's where things kind of took a turn. I became friends with a group of girls who were very feminine, girly, danced, you know, played with dolls, I don't know, all of that stuff. And I wanted to be a part of their group. I just wanted to be like them, so I started to dress in dresses, I started to wear makeup, I did my nails. When I was in my late 20s, I started to go on to Instagram, and I noticed a hashtag, F to M. I became so intrigued that these people were just living their lives as exactly who they wanted to be. My girlfriend at the time, I had told her that that's what I wanted to do. And she told me that if I did, she would break up with me. I went into a depression and I went into a suicidal state because I just didn't want to live as a girl anymore. And I didn't have anybody to support me through that journey. It wasn't until I came to CAMH that I was able to get the help I needed when I was in the inpatient program. I started to talk to people who were from the LGBTQ plus community. Their stories helped me, my stories helped them. I made some really great friends and some really great connections and they encouraged me and I felt supported. CAMH literally saved my life. I wouldn't be standing here right now telling my story, feeling the confidence that I feel in my own body, feeling the, the need to share my stories to help other people who are experiencing the same things I was experiencing, because there is hope. When you support CAMH, you're helping to ensure that everybody gets the care that they need, no matter where they are.